Hi guys! Different type of video today in a different environment. So today is a video that I'm waiting to do for over a month. We've been here for about a month in this apartment, a little bit over that, and I'm not happy with our bedroom. I feel like the only rooms in the house that I really like I'm okay with, I'm okay with our office. It could use improvements, but it's getting there. And I'm okay with one of the bathrooms, which is spooky, vintage Holly, not vintage Hollywood, vintage Halloween inspired. So those are the two rooms in the house I'm okay with. The one I hate the most, besides the dining room, because that's like a whole different thing, is the bedroom. And I finally got the go ahead from my husband that he just doesn't care what I do anymore and so long security deposit and I don't care because I want to feel comfortable where I'm living and if we have to paint it again when we move I think I'll just take the L on the deposit then honestly but if not I think we just get some premium paint we can paint right back over it so I'm gonna paint this bedroom black I'm gonna give you a tour of what we're working with beforehand and then we'll do like a you know montage of painting maybe redecorating we'll see all that so let me show you what we're working with so far also guys if you're into spooky stuff or spooky season since this is a goth bedroom makeover i do have a shop theopencrypt.com i make things myself that's that's my little shout out to my own shop today <laughs> so i didn't really clean in preparation for this video but this is the hallway from our living room so you go to the hallway there's our office we have some cute like gold decorations in the hallway um and then the bedroom so on the bedroom we have a sign that says don't dare to disturb sleeping like the dead which is very cute i just don't like that it's an off-white um hanging on the door we just have this little skeleton x-ray pit because i didn't know what to do with it and then on this wall we have a cat tree a roll of paper in preparation for <laughs> painting and then these two pictures from at home we didn't get the spider so we only got these two so when you walk in it's just very blur and then turning to the rest of the bedroom this is what it looks like. It's not, it's not horrible, right? But look how puny that sign looks up there. So we have a funeral no parking sign from Creepy Co. The carpet's garbage. <laughs> and then we have the bed. I love our bed frame and I love our mattress. Our mattress is lull. I did a whole like unboxing that mattress thing. And I love our bed frame. I love it so much. These are just the pillows I picked for it. Two from Killstar. This one's from Home Goods last year or the year before. Um, we have a little sign that says, welcome to our web. This controls the light in the room, so we don't touch it. No, it controls the outlets, actually. It controls outlets. So I hung this on the sign so we wouldn't use it. Hi, Benny. And then this one controls our fan. And the lights are controlled by our Alexa. Um, so we just use that lamp for light in the room. We have a picture of Marilyn on this wall when you come in, as well as a Salem Broomstick Co. thing. It's actually not even nailed to the wall it's just sitting on that ledge which is kind of sketch um but over by our bed we have his bedside stuff this is my side of the bed we have a lamp with a bat hanging down the center my cat pillow a comfy cat thing and some water <laughs> with like pills in and stuff for sleeping and then this is our closet which i went ahead and changed the knobs to these black bats that i bought on sale from sour puss they were originally like ten dollars each i got them for five dollars each so for ten dollars these knobs were so worth it but yeah, summary of our bedroom. I hate it. Thanks, I hate it. I have this huge wall of nothing and I can't think of what to do with it. And I also feel like this happy haunting sign like above our bed isn't big enough for the room, but I don't know what else to do. And pictures are expensive, you know? So I figured a black coat of paint and maybe go to an antique store and see what I can find up maybe would help this room. So right now my official pan plans for fixing the bedroom are just paint. I don't know what else to do. I have thought about getting poster prints and getting like cheap Walmart poster frames because they're like really affordable, way more than I thought, and fixing it that way, like putting posters on that big empty wall. But I don't know how they'd vibe with the other pictures we have in the room. So I'm not sure. Well, I guess I'll show you along the way. But first things first, I need the walls black. Okay, later the same day. Okay, so we face off. I couldn't wear it all day. We have a haul of things that better freaking work for this bedroom, as well as we're gonna paint the little mini Beetlejuice bathroom because it just needs it desperately. So we got a little mini tray. We got big and little rollers, good and cheap paint brushes. These things are a necessity. You need this nozzle in your paint bucket. Take the little silver lid off. You need these, these are amazing. Tons of rollers. Rollers again and liners. And then also from Walmart, these 18 by 24 picture frames for pictures. 
obviously. Now, the ones that I wanted were a little more expensive than these. These were the cheaper ones, but I think it's gonna have the same similar effect. And since no one sees our bedroom anyways, besides us, and apparently you in this video, it's gonna be good. And then also we got paint because Lowe's had Velspar and I've heard good things. So black, black paint. Okay, hello, it is nighttime now. Yes, I'm wearing the same outfit. No, you should not judge me for that. So, progress to be made, the walls are black. You will see it in the total reveal. We're replacing the cat tree that he's had for years. Years! And it's all torn up. We got a new one that was on sale from PetSmart, which looks like this. It's a really tall one too, so I feel like if we have all the windows open, they can, you know, the cats can look outside. And it's gray, which matches the color scheme better than the beige did. Also, as far as wall art goes, we have these three posters. We have Creature in the Black Lagoon, Freddy Krueger, and Elvira. So a sea, a night, and a sleep time monster person thing. And then we also got this thing. I couldn't find it. This wall art from Home Goods, which they had a cuter one of the same kind at Target but we already bought that one. And we got some, some gold spray paint from Target. We're gonna gold spray paint it gold. So it would stand against the black walls, but that is the updates. And uh, we also got a hanging plant from Ikea because it's cute. Wanna say hi? He painted all the walls. So I look like a mess because I've been painting our Beetlejuice bathroom today, but I just wanted to go ahead and get the reveal done for you for this video, you guys. I am obsessed. I love it. Um, obviously, it could be better, but since we finished this bedroom, you guys, all I can think about is like, I know we just moved here and I hate moving more than anyone could. I could tell anybody how much I hate moving. I want a house now so I can do whatever I want because there's something about this being personalized to me and darkening up and doing things to like a space that I need for like every room of the house but obviously I can't do that if I'm renting so like husband needs to buy me a house. <laughs> okay anyways let's do the reveal. So now this is what you look at when you first come into the room. We still kept the uh, don't sleep waking or don't wake up the dead whatever sign we put these pictures back on this wall as well as the cemetery sign from Joann's which was black metal we spray painted it gold but now with the black walls it looks nicer the happy haunting sign now goes above our window which is so nice next to this new cat tree that the baby biddy is enjoying because he's the sweetest thing in the world but like honestly look at this like with the sign, I know the lighting's weird, but with the sign up here and the filled in space, it's just so much better when you walk in the room. And then this is the rest of the bedroom. Now I know it's hard to see with the glare of the lights on the things. I should have got matte picture frames, but this is our nice entry wall. We put the sign back up there. We chose a different Maryland picture that I had in the office to go in this room. Obviously, we still have the bat handles on the closet as well as I put this apothecary sign from Kirkland's on it. And I'm going to take some gold paint. I already bought it just to make the gold pop on that sign more. And then here is the bed space, which <laughs> looks nice. The pillows are crooked. But, like, it's so much nicer than how it was. So, on my side of the bed, I still have this cat stand because I couldn't find anything I liked that I already owned to replace it with to hold stuff without me reaching down on the floor. The table is from World Market. I painted. Um, this is a black metal raven from Joann's that we spray painted gold. There's a matching one on this side. 
these picture frames were seven dollars from walmart and we had someone with a printer like a big poster printer print them out for us and we have this little thing from amazon with the moon phases on it obviously our bed is the same bed frame same comforter same pillows everything these pillows were just extra ones that i had from home goods like two years ago so they pop up every year this piece of metal i showed you was originally black they do have a similar gold one from target though if you don't want to paint it yourself but i just like the busy lines and everything and then on his side of the bed we have his bedside table another bird that we painted gold from joann's this plant pot we bought the different chain we bought black chain from home depot for 64 cent a foot and we put um, these two plants that are potted from Ikea in it and this Ikea planter that was originally white we spray painted gold. Anything that did not match the color scheme we just spray painted. But here is a quick rundown of our bedroom. Like it's so much better. It just feels more homey and nice. I was worried the room would look smaller with the black. But quite frankly like it's a pretty decent sized bedroom. And I love that the cats have this tall cat tree to use now, and the paint job could be better, but it's fine. So thank you guys so much for joining me for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one, guys. Let me know what you think down below.